September 19, 2024. To whom it may concern. Um, what does that remind me of? To whom it may concern. <laughs> you. Anyways, the Pokemon company Nintendo Co. Limited filing lawsuit for infringement of patent rights against Pocket Pair Incorporations. Now, a lot of people wanted them to go after copyright because pals resembled Pokemon very, very closely. Filing lawsuit for infringement of patent rights against Pocket Pair Incorporations. Infringement of patent rights. So I think this falls under intellectual property rights. And uh, I'm actually very intrigued which patent rights they're talking about. But let's have a look at this. This is not really a big piece to read. This is just like this small. Wait a moment. Okay, here we go. Nintendo Co. Limited. We're going to ignore the rest of the bracket part together with the Pocket, the Pokemon Company. I read Pocket Pair Company. Imagine. Oh, and the Pokemon Company filed a patent infringement lawsuit in the Tokyo District Court against Pocket Pair Incorporations. Ignore the bracket part on September 18, 2024. Okay, so essentially they have sued them. They're going after them, which everybody expected. Am I surprised? Yes. Am I disappointed? Yes. <laughs> but let's let's see what's gonna happen. So what do they essentially seek from it? This lawsuit seeks injunction against infringement. Injunction against infringement. So this must be like the infringement of patent rights Com and compensation for damages. I What sort of damage can pocket pair cause to Nintendo? Come on. <laughs> On the grounds that PAL World, a game developed and released by defendant, infringes multiple patent rights. Okay, that is interesting. Infringes multiple patent rights. So, I believe injunction in term legally, what would injunction do? It would probably stop them. They would probably have to, they would probably have to rework some mechanics under injunction, I think. They would have to pay them for licensing fees. Uh, it depends on how laws work in different parts of the world. I have no idea how they work in Japan, to be honest. But under injunction, they could force them to remove the game from Steam. And I think that's what's making people worried because they think that Nintendo is going to make Pocket Pair basically remove the game. So injunction against infringement and its multiple patent rights but none of them have been listed here, okay? Nintendo will continue to take necessary ag action against any infringement and of its intellectual property rights, including the Nintendo brand itself to protect the intellectual properties. It has worked hard, blah, blah, blah. It has worked hard to establish over the years. I'm sorry, everybody knows where Pokemon came from. It has also come from the same process. The process where right now Pocket Pair has achieved its pals. What is gonna happen now? Nintendo wins, case closed. <laughs> I wish it was that simple, but this is debatable. Extremely infringement of copyright, but debatable doesn't mean anything legally. Legally, you have to like genuinely prove which copyrights they are talking about. Infringement of copyrights. Infringement of patent rights. I think most likely the only thing that is similar is most likely the mechanic they use for catching pals. But even it has slight differences here and there, but the mechanic is almost like completely same. But that's one thing. What is the other? And that's not the only thing. What is uh, uh, the studio behind Ark Survival Evolved? Couldn't they sue them as well? Like at this point, oh, or are they not registered under patent rights? So patent rights are intellectual property rights, but then, well, let's have a look. So, I mean, it doesn't make any different. The game had 2.1 million peak players eight months ago. Okay, even right now, as you can see, over the last week, it has started gaining a bit of players because that tells you, like, people know it will probably be removed. Like, that's how much they have <laughs> faith <laughs> over Nintendo suing people. Okay, what is the Palworld developer saying? Palworld developer says it doesn't know why Nintendo is suing Pokemon with guns game. You know what? That is correct approach. If you're getting sued, the first thing you say, I have no idea what am I get what am I getting sued for? What have I done worth getting sued for here? That's how you approach it legally. Palwell developer Pocket Player has responded claiming it has no idea why it's being sued. This actually isn't as absurd as it sounds. No, it's not. It's believable. If you get sued, I'm telling you, if somebody is taking you to court, your first response should be, What did I do? I mean, Nintendo is known for like one very simple thing, okay? If you're talking about Nintendo, you could be shot. 
now we're good like if it it were up to them they would legally snipe you not actually okay it's not possible but if it were up to them they would take down everything relating to their ip and nintendo i could be wrong here like nintendo maybe 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 is trying to make an example out of pocket bear because there are hundreds and hundreds of games they are very similar to Pokemon. In fact, you find merch, you go out, walk outside, you go to a mall, you're gonna find Pokemon merch that Nintendo is not selling. It's very common to find these sorts of things. Nintendo confirmed it has received, I'm sorry, Pocket Pair has confirmed it received notice of patent infringement lawsuit and was investigating its claims to refrain from actually naming either Nintendo and Pokemon company. Smart. Interestingly, Pocket Pair also said it doesn't know the details of exactly what it could be accused of. Actually, you know what? That's amazing. Imagine like I'm sending you a lawsuit. You, 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 you're getting sued over patent rights. But I'm not telling you exactly what you're getting sued for. <laughs> but I'm suing, but I'm suing you. We have received notice of this lawsuit and will begin appropriate legal proceeding and investigations into the claims of patent infringement. At this moment, we are unaware of specific patent patents we are accused of infringing upon and we have not been notified of such detail. I'm telling you. They know what they're getting sued for. Let's be honest, Pal did Palworld copy Pokemon? Yes. Did it completely copy Pokemon? Kinda yes. It also copied a few other games and made something out of it that worked and people liked it. It was a good game. Game over. That's it. That's how games work. I'm sorry. Like if you're made a good game by copying other stuff here and there and made a really good game, that means uh, other games were shit. <laughs> I'm sorry, Pokemon is actually a good game as well. Though Pocket Player claims ignorance, it may may initially seem ridiculous. They are less surprising once you consider the nature of Pokemon and Pocket Pairs. Pokemon companies claim that is actually true. Like this feels like something they shouldn't win. But there's one thing we know about Nintendo. If they're suing someone, they're winning. I don't know how, but it is in Japan. Nintendo is from Japan. Pocket Pair is also from Japan. Could be wrong. Correct me if I'm wrong. And uh, they will win because uh, it's Nintendo. They're really good at winning. Pal will do international attention during January early access launch due to perceived similarities between its uh, pals and Pokemon designs. Yeah, but that doesn't work in court. In court, like uh, if one Pokemon is like walking out, looks like a lion, other looks like a lion, but the other one has a mustache or a beard or mane. I'm sorry, lines have mane, not beard. <laughs> but if other lion has a mane, court goes, they're different enough. It's done. So this would hurt, that copyright would not really have worked in my eyes. But this infringement of rights, infringement of patent rights could possibly work. However, patents don't cover such elements which would appropriately be handled by copyright. Instead, a patent infringement lawsuit is more likely to deal with technical details such as gameplay mechanics, which makes a lot more sense. The only gameplay mechanic that stands here is like I said, is the part where they catch Pokemon's, I'm sorry, pals in that pal spheres. The system is incredibly similar, but it's also a bit technical. Like it gives you how much percentage it will be when they catch it, Your their health needs to be lower. And then you keep throwing pal spheres until you eventually catch them. Like that is very much similar to Pokemon. Pal World gameplay does have undeniable gameplay similarities to Pokemon franchise, which allows both to capture. Okay, yeah. But yeah, this is also, they're far from the only monster taming game out there with games such as Dragon Quest V and Atlas Shin Megami Tensei, both series preceding both. Uh, as such, the exact nature of Pokemon's beef with Pocket Pal, Pocket pocket Pair, isn't, exa isn't immediately apparent. It's apparent. I personally think they just want to shut them down, yeah. It seems reasonable to speculate the lawsuit may involve Palworld's pal spheres to capture pal in Palworld. Players first fight their target to lower its health, increase the probability of a successful capture, then throw a pal sphere at trapping them inside. Yeah, that is exactly how the Pokemon game operates. So, with Pokeballs. I mean, the name is also like, why couldn't you name it like Pal Cube or something? <laughs> why did you go like Sphere? Oh, Sphere is just another name for balls. So, the theory that the lawsuit concerns Palspheres is supported by several division patent applications Nintendo and Pokemon Company jointly sub submitted after Palworld's launch. 
Some patents seem to concern mechanics such as throwing an item to capture a creature as well as throwing an item to release a captured creature and start a battle. Divisional patents essentially split into pre-existing patents into multiple separate ones, okay? Refrain from commenting any matters relating to contents of lawsuit. Obviously, they're not going to talk about the lawsuit because that's not what they want. Pokemon is like good at one thing. They, you copy them, you put like a picture of Pokemon, a picture of Pikachu outside your house. I think like Pikachu is like uh, copyrighted. I didn't even <laughs> look. Individually, he has a copyright. So I'm pretty sure Pokemon or Nintendo didn't comment on this they're probably busy with their nintendo switch 2 launch or whatever the next thing is let's look at nintendo so i want to check this mystery nintendo device that's not switch to pass certification so they're working on something right now which i have no idea because the device with the product code clo001 does not appear to be switch to console or traditional controller for it show that nintendo documents ra show roughly what shape this mystery box will be though it's a rounded rectangular that needs to be plugged in a usb-c there's no battery inside so i have no idea what they're making right now in form of a gameplay controller so i honestly was thinking like they're gonna come out with the uh, nintendo switch 2 so they're like going ahead with this copyright because it you know publicity what is that phrase that people use any publicity is publicity Good publicity, bad it's publicity, it doesn't matter, it's publicity. But I disagree with that, but I think they essentially want to make an example. Nintendo has made up its mind to make an example out of Pocket Bear. They want to shut them down for good, and they want to prove to the world, like, you know what, we can do this to them, we can do this to you. Okay, like, so get in line, follow whatever we're doing, or you're done. Hopefully, hopefully, Pocket Bear gets out of this unharmed here's to hoping i don't think they will if nintendo sues you i think this is like universally known if nintendo sues you it doesn't matter you're in antarctica you're getting buried man <laughs> yeah. uh anyways goodbye take care of yourself i'll see you guys next time remember to like and subscribe bye